Another sentry dropped, and it will be out. Oh, chopped down. Uh, all the 11, he's gonna get stunned. There's a Tren sentry played it down. They heal him up with the sentry, but that's the first blood. MVP persistent as hell, and as long last they will connect. Trying to get in range of Kaka, they barely get the glimpse up. Rainy to back, and he swoops away. The vent stun, I think, was just cooling down, or just maybe couldn't get the cast animation off the time, but it has been five, six centuries at this point. So, the, the question becomes if that's enough punishment for mode 11, as they're hunting for him again. Still only a level 1 glimpse. We gotta get the vision here, they're gonna summon Triance. The whole squad's in position, but Dubu's gonna go down, they pop the fairy fire on 11, he does get the experience. Still, it's a level 5 offlaner for support. Back himself away. Duo continuing the siege. They are making rotations. Brood Mother in looking for the tower tonight. Oh, the prop to get the last hit. Those phase boots paying off. And old 11 rushes forward. He might try to make a move on 4F. Teleport's cooling down. He has the scroll, but if one more set of spider lanes hits him, he's likely to fall here. Spider lanes give you the vision inside of the trees. He'll snipe him out. And there's not much Duo can do to stop it. They do stun old 11, though. It might be a trade of the offlaners here. It is. Hewo gets the last hit. This will allow him to pick up a six and a half minute Midas. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. You never felt more shit, did you? Roshan has fallen to the Dyer. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Immortality. Illusion. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's you middle tower is me. under attack. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Obliged. 
Up they go. QO out attack. in front. I have Scotty is online. He's got Alacrity as well, so he's hitting very hard. Attack speed is already substantial. They're gonna silence Kaka. They just run in on him with the auto attacks. He needs that snowball save, but he's gonna need to have the roll him into the middle of MVP. Can he possibly get the egg off in the midst of it? No, he wants to die back. That leaves Land up as the sacrifice. He will egg but it's distance. So it's up to old 11 to fight against the entire team MVP on his own, and he just can't do it. MVP run him down the gem drop to double kill and a wicked six streak. MVP looks like they did recover it. MP grabbing the gem retreats out. 16 to 5 the score. Taylor can help save some people, but they just actually have no real good tools to kill MVP. Uh -oh. It's all survival game. Uh, MVP, we're moving forward, but unfortunately CTY baits them out with the replicate now. Oh, they still get the jump. Tornado coming in, they're gonna silence land up, prevent him from getting anything off here. They go for the lasso, but it's not enough. Maybe he's there with the quick swap save, and now they turn and QO's gonna be low. And this might be thinking kill if the Saga would be huge, but he's able to retreat out. He's gonna heal up for Ev also down. This could be the turn of the ties, a two for two thus far. Spiderlings getting active. QO's ready to jump back in, though. CTY, he's heavily transformed. They're gonna force up the egg here. Can QO finish it off solo? Looks like he's got the fire. Power, he gets the kill. QO, no ultimate now though. He's surrounded by the brood bomb and they need this kill. He's so low. The spider link poking him. They get him. A triple for old 11. Massive suite of momentum. EO, that was the fight they needed. And with it, a 3,700 gold swing. Oh, and now the rat intensifies, but it's from the team with the Morphlet and the brood, not. The nature's profit. We'll get the power mid. Replicate available. He's gonna wave himself back to safety. They do descend though onto CTY. They found him. They're gonna glimpse it back. Static Stormy might even be safer from this. Two heroes waiting, but he's up to 3,000 health. Oh, CTY. Okay, not so safe anymore. As QO arrives, blinks in, cleans him up, bought his BKB, did not go for the Ethereal Blade, but will have a buy. I can lead all the fire. The Sunray, the Firefly, everything immolating. But QO. Not to be dissuaded by this, Age is still online, goes in, <laughs> just can't escape the Sunray, and the left the Sunray tracks down, Tornado will stop it in its tracks, but it is just it's the enough. Phoenix that is saving their base right now. <laughs> I have not often seen a Phoenix control the high ground this hard, but this is one of those moments. It's allowing Old Chicken to sit back, but now they get in, Sunray, cool down. But they've already done significant structural damage here. MVP closing in on their first lane of Rax. And with that, the map control, they play forward on the old 11. BKB is available. He's going to be forced to pop it defensively, and he might go down anyway. He will be pincered off and finished by QO. Now the egg is dropped, but QO's on top with massive attack speed. Can he finish the egg? He will do so. That's four down, and it's going to be right there with 5x streaming out the Morphling, only now just respawning, but has no firepower. The racks are down. MVP. They've got Eho on the ropes. They've broken into their base. Their home is in trouble. And perhaps with this, it will be burnt down fully. They immediately rotate on the top lane. There's no egg available. There's really not much to work with here. Not even a walrus punch or lasso. It's all down for the count. They have Sunray. <laughs> too little, too late, it feels. MVP with the shocking upset, likely upon us. They jump in again, QO. We have seen this with the man before. Harkins back to his TI5 days, where he took over on the Ember, the Slark at times. That's too late to Brax. Eho, prohibitive favorites of Group A, are not feeling like favorites at all anymore. They'll rotate on the bottom, looking to end this game at 29 minutes. Age is still online, and they've got about 30 seconds here as he blinks it again. The snowball's forced out, land him on the retreat, but QO with 31 essence ships plus 93 agility, and the Aegis to work with, jumps away to save, and even popping the Midas in their faces. Ultra jumps in and definitely blasts to turn this. The Meteor gets dropped right on top of the Bat Rider, dying by the old flames that he looks to be aggressive with. Most of the time, they get yet another kill. Buybacks coming out. Everybody helps their skills are trying to hold the line, but even if Ehome get a team wipe, it is still going to be a massive uphill climb, and that's asking a lot right now because QO up to 43. That's the ship stacks 129 plus agility is now attacking 0.3 times every 0.3 seconds, which is three attacks per second, and that. There's a few attacks per second too many. The DG is called. Eho are going down to the lower bracket on home turf. They can't do it, and they will drop game number one. As brutal. They felt very figured out.